Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. So I'm recording this audio on a Saturday. And I'm trying to do some things around the house. Some days are hard, you know. Some days are just harder than others. And I'm going through things in boxes and bins and drawers and trying to organize a bit what what's the big kid stuff and get things kind of situated in my space um, downstairs where then I can move all the kids crap so I can set up a little sitting area living room for myself and have some Bridget space that's a little more organized <laughs> right now it's kind of uh, makeshift and I want it to feel a little more homey and cozy and I got some great terracotta orange colored comfy cozy chairs and with an ottoman and it just so happens to match this blanket that I have and it's just beautiful and I got them for free it's so great you know how that is it's like wow right place right time very sacral chakra for sure so I'm sitting in the greenhouse right now. I used to work in here a lot. I used to do a lot of work in here. And I'm looking outside and I see the trees just moving and grooving in the wind. It's a chilly October day here. It's like 32 degrees out. The sun just came out though. So that's always a positive perk for me. I love the sun. And in the middle of the hard moments, the difficult moments... There are also breaks. We get a break. We get a pause. I'm just sitting right now, trying to remember why it is I came in here in the first place. (laughs) And I found myself feeling, feeling a lot. There was a lot of emotion. And so I gave myself permission to sit down, just sit and be in one of those breaks Breaks aren't always breakdowns, breakups, breaking apart. Sometimes they're breaking open, breaking into, breaking through. It's just perspective, isn't it? I think that's kind of what life's all about, right? The way you look at it. I remember there was a quote by Wayne Dyer, Dr. Wayne Dyer, that said, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. Something like that. And it was probably from someone else. It could have been Hafiz. It could have been um, Carl Jung. It could have been any number of people that he would have quoted. (laughs) But I've heard him say that so many times, but it's true. It's really true. So in this moment, I look outside and I see the grass turning a little more yellow than green. And the leaves on the many, many trees that line the backyard are definitely more yellow than green. And they're getting sparse. The leaves are changing. I know, I know it's cliche. As are we, nature shows us how to change and slow down. I know. I know. And with the air element present, I know that that is an affirmation. That's really true. So the other day I had an astrology reading, thinking about air and the air sign. Aries is in two of my things. I don't know what it is. The moon and something rising is both Aries. And then, of course, my son is Aquarius. And it really opened me up to um, understanding, in a way, the pattern of the last year and a half or so that, wow, okay, so this was kind of planned, you know, like this was not just something I randomly made up in my head, because right now it kind of feels like that. Do you ever go through a lot of stuff, like just so much, just churning and churning and churning and happening and changing and you and the people around you and your loved ones and your kids and your job and and, and your relationships and, and 
your love life and all of the, every, the world, everything just changing, right? And it's turning so much that it's like, wait, what? So I catch myself looking back and saying, did I just dream that? Like, was that a dream? Or did that actually happen? <laughs> what, what, wait, what, did that happen? Was that a dream? You know, <laughs> it's like, do I have any proof of that? Well, I have a few pictures. Maybe that can put the memories together for me and affirm to me that, yeah, that happened. Do you ever feel like that? And with this astrology, this energetic of understanding the map with the stars and the universe and more of a cosmic look at our life as humans, it really um, certainly affirmed for me that, yeah, wow, okay, all the things I know about reincarnation and soul charts and how we have interactions with people for a purpose and a reason and how there are different life purposes that we as spirits agree to and come into so that we can fulfill in different areas of lives, which is the point of all the houses and astrology and different sections of your life. And when things move across, it creates change or it brings somebody in or it makes somebody leave or like there's all these incredible, it, it feels planned things. And how that occurs is, is different. Now, I know this because I experience it through energetics. When I'm in a session with you, I experience it. And excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry if you're listening with your AirPods in. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And you all know I don't edit, right? Yeah, we're just having a conversation between friends. And I know because I see it, I read energy. That's what I do. That's why I'm a really good intuitive coach. All right. It's not because I know everything that's going to happen in your life, but I know what your soul tells me and shows me as your patterns, your life themes, the things that you play out in multiple, like in astrology, would be in multiple houses, in money, in career, in love, all of that stuff. It's all interconnected. It's this big web of life, this big web. And it's intended to support us and to reassure us that we're not alone and for us to ask for guidance from our human friends and support systems and also from our spirit friends and support systems like spirit guides and angels and totem animals and ancestors and saints and goddesses and deities and all of it, everyone, you know. And we sometimes forget that, I think, in these moments. Like right now I'm just sitting here and I do feel supported and I feel super, super in tune with my body that when the emotion comes up to stop and just let it come up and let it be with me and let myself feel it without having to explain it or know exactly what it's attached to. Sometimes I have a thought that comes in my head or a remembrance, the memory, and it flashes and then it settles and then it hurts, you know, it hurts. And then I think to myself, did I make that up? Did I? Did that actually happen? Did any of this actually happen? I think life feels like that a lot, doesn't it? Especially when it's moving so quickly and there's layers upon layers of things. And I know psychically and spiritually lately, I can attest to the fact that at least the last six, eight months, maybe even a year now, the timelines have been so squishy. It's been not clear it's like, whose life am I living anyway? Yes, that's the point of how the timelines are squishy. So that really random past shit comes up so that you can, like that moment in sixth grade when somebody took your fruit snacks or something, do you know what I mean? Like it really can be that simple and subtle, but it's connected to something deeper and more thematic related to your life. And so it moves and shakes out some of the resistance. It softens the edges for you. So that then you can flow more freely into what's next for you. But there's two important pieces I want to mention about this is that what's now and what's next, really important, super important. When the past comes up, when the memories come up, when, when that emotion is brought to the surface, let it move. Let it come and move because if you push it back down, it's going to come back up again, probably with a vengeance because you ignored it. And you stuffed it and it might come attached to something else that's harder to handle. 
So pause when you have a break. Pause, just sit the F down and let it happen. Let the emotion come through. And it's so such a gift when you're by yourself, like I'm sitting here by myself in a house full of people right now, and I feel my presence, me, just, just Bridget, my essence. And, and you know what? She feels damn good to me. She knows what the fuck she's doing. She knows exactly who she is. And she knows that, yeah, the hard times, the hard moments, they're just moments. They're temporary. And because I know that, that also means I know that the good moments, the joy that has been in my life and will be again is also temporary. It's moments. The hard and the joy, the hard times and the joy and the, 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 the enjoyment, the pleasurable times, the pleasure. The hardships and the pleasure, they're not associated or connected to any one person. Hardship and pleasure, the hard stuff and the good stuff, it's not connected to any one time of your life. The hard stuff and the good stuff is not connected to any place that you've lived. The hard stuff and the good stuff is not connected to any one scenario or set of circumstances in your life. The hard stuff and the good stuff is the balance. It's the yin-yang. It's the difference between a breakdown and a breakthrough. It's the difference between falling apart and falling back into place. It's the beauty of life. It's the rhythm. It's the natural cadence of things. So in this moment, I just take a breath and I look at the gorgeous blue sky. I love the sky. You know I love the sky. If you watch my Instagram on Bridget Inspired, you know how much I love sky pictures of gorgeous clouds moving and shifting and bringing messages, those sky dancer energetics, those soul oh, soul messages and those spirit guides just showing right up for you. It just And it's momentary, isn't it? Truly, everything is temporary. This is why they say life is a gift. It is. It is. It's, don't wait to live it. Please don't wait. Even when there's hard times and that you're going through a major transformation. Oh my gosh, the astrologer said, okay. <laughs> She's looking at my charts. My, uh, oh gosh, I don't know how it, my transits and my progressions. I think that's right. And she said, oh my, she said, oh, you've been in a massive transformation. (laughs) I said, yes, yes, indeed. True dat, true dat. (laughs) And she kind of laughed and she said, well, I'm thinking, oh my gosh. I said, any any chance that that's going to let up soon? (laughs) She says, no. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Oh, got to love the truth, right? Yeah, I'm like, please lie to me. Please just, can you just please lie to me? No, I will be much more offended in the long run if you lie to me. Trust me on that. Mm -hmm. It's better to hurt me with the truth than to manipulate me with a lie, right? Isn't that how it goes? So I'm like, okay, okay. All right, transformation. Yeah, that indeed's happening. That indeed's happening. And uh, some really deeply personal stuff <laughs> has been, wow. Like she just made sense of so many things. And then I said, wait, what? And she says, you're unconventional. Your life is going to look different than other people's lives. Your business, your approach to business, your approach to healing, your approach to your work is going to be different. You're innovative. You're out of the box. She said, you're cutting edge. Not everybody's going to get that. And it's okay, she says, because there are many, many that who, many who will and who need you to really be full out, live full out, to be full out yourself. I'm like, okay, I get that. I get it. And she also said, um, yeah, and personally, your life is going to look different than other people's lives, and that's okay. And I'm like, oh, God, yes, indeed, it sure is. Mm-hmm. That's right. And that's okay, you know? That's why business is business and personal is personal, right? 
Not everybody needs to know your business. <laughs> Woo! That's interesting. Yeah. I am working on some things, though, business-wise. I will share. There's a couple of things that are really... It's fascinating because things are bubbling up. And I shared with her, she kept repeating this pattern about wellness and healing. And for me, it's the word I use is embodiment. You've heard me use it before. And I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. And there's all these opportunities I have for advancement in that and certifications and trainings and all that. And not necessarily to qualify me, but to give me the wisdom and the knowledge for my brain to be able to access and tap into in order to be able to translate very spiritual, energetic information into a way that's very practical. You know, that's my purpose. I do that. That's my goal and everything I do is to make spirituality practical, to make energy understood, to make intuition not a weird woo-woo thing, but a really cool natural resource you can tap into. That's what all this is about here on Above Life Channel. That's what Sunday morning coffee is about, helping you translate some of these themes that are showing up. And I share through the energetics that I'm seeing in sessions. Oh my gosh, last week, y'all just broke down my doors asking for sessions. I hadn't had sessions maybe one a week for like three weeks. And all of a sudden last week I had like double, like four sessions at one. Like I'm like, wait a minute, people reached out to me and I'm like, wait, what? I added three sessions on my books in a matter of a day and a half. I was like, this is cool. But when that happens, I know something, something, something's up, right? Something's up. So here we are in this moment, taking a break, sitting in stillness. It's so quiet in here. It's so quiet. And the, 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 the cold floor is making my butt numb. <laughs> so sensory-wise, I can feel. So that's a good thing. I'm actually feeling my body, which is good. My body is also moving through some things because I'm doing a... A naturopathic reset. I've been doing natural path to help with some of the stress and the the adrenal overload, toxic levels of things that have been showing up for me. I need to um, really pay attention to my body, and so I'm doing a reset. Which, as you know, if you've done it before, it can really mess you up for a bit. Yeah, yeah, it can shake things up. The hardest part for me, honestly, is like the absolutely no sugar. I mean, I'm good with the no gluten, no starches, no dairy. I'm fine with that stuff. That's no big deal. But And the no caffeine, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. Guess what? I'm still having coffee. I'm trying to do half C's. <laughs> I'm trying to do half C's. And I told her, I said, the first week I'm weaning off it. I'll wean off it. Now I'm drinking some dandelion root thing, which actually is good. I should actually look it up and give you guys a link because it's good. It is good coffee. I can't even do mushrooms, you guys. So my mushroom-based coffees that I use, I can't do that. But I can do tea, no caffeine, which is fine, natural herbal tea. So I've been doing that and that's good. And um, it's just, it's fat. The only kind of oil I can use is coconut oil right now. And it's just for a month, just getting everything reset. The focus is on the digestive system, the liver, and because my adrenal system is like way maxed out, so tapped out. Cortisol is like running amok in my body along with some other hormonal things. And I just am like, oh my gosh. So yeah, challenging. People are having challenges with weight gain. I'm having challenges with too much weight loss. So yeah, if you've noticed that, and a personal note, if you've noticed that on my videos, just don't worry about me. I'm okay. I'm getting all of my stuff checked out. I know it's been dramatic. If you've noticed, I know, trust me, I know, and I'm on it. I'm on it. It's just, it's too much, I know. And it's not because I'm excessively exercising. That's not happening. So don't worry about me if you've noticed that. I'm taking care of myself and being healthy as I can. And um, given it's going to be a couple months and sh I probably will lose a little more weight this month because of the, the, the clearing and the detox that's happening. The reset, it's not really a detox, it's a reset. And that probably will happen for four to six weeks. And then I'll step into a little bit of an adjusted diet. And then the third month, we'll start experimenting with some different things to help support um, <clears throat> the hormonal levels in the body. And then we'll see what happens from there. So I'm okay. It's a commitment. And I love me. So I'm going to honor me. So, and yeah, things have been really hard. And so my body is 
in need of love before she breaks down. I am working with her and giving her breaks and helping her move through to a breakthrough. So, yeah, don't worry. I'll be gaining some weight in the future. That's for damn sure. (laughs) Yeah, it's tricky, though. Like, eating the whole animal protein thing is harder for me than I thought it was going to be. And so I've had to add that back in this month, and it makes me a little bit sad. But also, I'm eating it in a very honorable, loving, very respectful way. So of my vegan friends, my vegetarian friends, or my vegan friends rather, just just know that that's what I'm doing. And I, and I can't really do red meat much anyway at all. My body just does not like it, so I'm not doing that. But um, there's some things I have to do this month just to really get my body in alignment. So just know that. If you read energy, you're going to notice. That's why I share this here on Sunday Morning Coffee. I'd rather share it here than on a video, but... Wow, there's so much perspective in this life, isn't there? Ups and downs. And like I said, it's just moments. Moments. Everything is temporary. And that's why the beauty of nature is something to be admired. That's why, God, great poetry. I live for it now. I live for it. It fills me up. It re ignites the light inside me that sometimes feels like it's gone out. Highly recommend poetry. I've been writing it also. I've kind of teased that a bit. Yes, I will share it. I promise I promise you I will share it with you. And additionally, I'm working on um, Fairy Grasshopper. YouTube is coming back now. Little bit by little bit, I'm going through all the videos and trying to put them back online again and So they're going to come out in some random order right now, just so you know. But at least there's something there for you to tap into. There's a couple. There's going to be some videos you haven't seen before because I didn't share them. Like I have a tendency to be a massive creator (laughs) and I don't share them because I'll do like four videos in a day and I'm not going to bombard you with that. But then I forget to launch them. So you're going to see some probably from last year at this time and... So that might seem out of context, but just focus on the content, okay? Wow, so I don't know what to call this, life updates? (laughs) Let's call it breaks. Let's call it breaks. Take a break. Give yourself a break. Cut yourself some slack. Don't be so hard on yourself, my dear. Please. See, I'm feeling a lot today. It doesn't mean I'm... Like every day is awful or every part of my day is awful. No way. I have a kid coming home from the college arena to come visit me again today. Like all of a sudden they're like, hey, I miss home. I want to come home. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Then let's go to the pumpkin patch and get some pumpkins. Let's do that. You know, something fun. She and I will have a good time with that and have some girl time. I need some girl time. I live in a house filled with non-girls for the most part, you know. So it's like, hey, looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I'm sifting and sorting things. And I think that she's checking on me too, actually, which is kind of sweet. I appreciate that, you know. When your kids get bigger and older and then they check on you, it's so sweet. See, moments. Moments. Don't let them pass you by. Take a break. Pause. Take it in. Be in stillness. Be in the quiet. And just... Just really feel the peace during the breaks. Let the emotions come. Because what, at, what comes after it is a nice exhale. And then the next in-breath. Brings peace and calm. And that's what's needed in the moment. Even as your heart is breaking. And the memories will still come, and you'll still ask yourself, I promise you this, did that really happen? And the answer to that question is, I'm really not sure. I don't quite know. (laughs) I don't quite know what all that was, what it is and what it means, I think. Time will tell. Don't be too hard on yourself, please. Take care of your body. Take care of your beautiful, sweet heart. Your soul will guide you if you let it. 
Tell your mind to take a break. Take a break. It's okay. I am sending you all so much love and hugs. (laughs) I'm with you 100%. I got your back. I always will have your back, you know. Thank you so much for listening to this kind of deep, actually, Sunday morning coffee and personal with Bridget. I hope I've inspired your spirit and filled you with some hope today. Reassurance, reassurance, okay? It's not just you. You're not cray-cray. I mean, you could be. I don't really know. Unless you have a session with me, then I'll tell you. (laughs) But (laughs) this is your life, moment to moment to moment, okay? And you get to live it. Please don't wait. Don't get sucked up by the bad or feel too stuck in one moment that feels too heavy and tough. Keep moving through, moving with the emotion, flowing with the energy that's present today for you, okay? Flow with. Don't deny it. Flow with and receive the gift of life that you have been given. It's your life after all, and you get the opportunity to live it. So please, just live it. Just live it.